Good morning, Ayana. Good morning, Jaden. Bye. Bye, miss. How are you both this morning? Good. Great. All right, so Mr. Cadero is supposed to be coming. We're doing the same kind of thing that we did on Friday, okay? You guys are going to be awesome. It's going to be fabulous. Good morning, Jaden. Good morning. How are you today? Good. Great. Glad to hear it. Good morning, Naomi. Good morning. <clears throat> so happy to see you here today. Good morning, Glenn. Good morning, Davian. Good morning, Bathsheba. Good morning, Evelyn. Good morning, Dalen. Good morning, Naima. Good morning, Owen. Dalen. Good morning, Natalia. Okay, Owen. Good morning. Good morning, Naima. Good morning, Samaya. Good morning, Joseph. It's going to be a great day. Good morning, Mr. Cadero. Good morning, Tiago. Good morning. Good morning, Justin. How's your day so far? My day is fabulous so far, thank you. And how is yours? It's just I'm tired. it's just the beginning. I can understand that, Justin. And I'm very tired, so. Okay. Well, we'll take that into consideration. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. It looks like the majority of us are here, so we'll get started. Okay. So. Today's lesson is all about uh, facts versus opinion. So we started talking about that on Friday. Can anyone <clears throat> to me uh, remember anything like what, how do we know the difference between a fact and an opinion? A fact is something that's like true and like it's a thing and an opinion is something that someone believes in. Correct. Like <clears throat> to me. So can an opinion um, have facts in it? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's called a, a, a supported opinion. It's when someone believes something and they use facts in it, <clears throat> excuse me, but they may not use uh, every, everything that they say may not be uh, true because, <clears throat> excuse me, every, it's their opinion. Okay. So, very good. Very good. <clears throat> excuse me. So, uh, to remind everybody... Uh, the primary reason for this lesson is that uh, it's crucial to know the difference between facts and opinions. <clears throat> Excuse me. In 
blah, blah, blah. Sorry. It's crucial to know the difference between facts and opinions. Uh, this is a valuable skill for life. Um, and you use it throughout all of your different subjects from uh, math. You know, you use a lot of statistics and everything in math. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, ELA, you definitely talk about facts and opinions uh, in that class. And you need to know the difference for, um, when an author is uh, giving you facts or giving you their opinions. Can anyone remember what any of the words were that we talked about to... Uh, when someone to clue you in when an author in a text is using um, facts or opinions. If someone, it, Tiago, maybe like they 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 like say it's true before they. Well, excuse me. So that's a very good point that you bring up, Tiago. Just because somebody says, I believe this to be true, doesn't mean it is true. How do we know if something is true or not? If you can back it up. Exactly, Natalia. If you can back it up, okay? It has to be observable. There has to be some kind of research or data or dates or pictures uh, an eyewitness account, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, very good. We're going to go to... Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Just give me a second. Let me be right back. Okay. All right. So, we have some facts and opinions here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to see what you already know. Okay? So, you're going to use your background knowledge to figure out whether or not something is a fact or an opinion. Oh, that's right. I can't move this. Oops. Okay. So, well, hold on, guys. Forgot that I cannot manipulate the screen if I present the screen. Hey, so does anyone notice me? Is this sixth grade class, Miss Layton? No, this is seventh grade. Seventh. Oh, you guys remember me? Yes. Yeah, obviously. How are you? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go silent again. Okay, I'm just watching. Okay. Bye, gu bye, guys. All right. All right, so fact and opinion, okay? So I'm going to move over a green check mark if it's a fact and a red uh, exclamation point if it is someone's opinion. So the capital of the United States is Washington, D.C. Is that a fact or an opinion? Fact. 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 We know that. We can back that up. I think Santa Claus is real. Opinion. 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 Some people might think it's fact, like those under the age of three. <laughs> I believe the moon is made of green cheese. Opinion. 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 We cannot back that up. Whoops. Uh, learning how to type is easy. Opinion. 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 Absolutely. Opinion. Some people find that very difficult. The 4th of July is Independence Day. Fact. We know that. We can check that out. We can research it. We have iReady reading diagnostics tomorrow. Fact. 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 That is a definite fact. We can look that up by looking at the, uh, by asking our teachers. <laughs> Mint chocolate chip is the best, uh, excuse me, mint chocolate chip ice cream is the best flavor ever. That's a fact. Okay. It's obviously an opinion. Well, that is, well, it is obviously an opinion. Uh, it is a fact uh, a for some people. Like me. Like Mrs. Leighton and Justin. 
That is a fact. Okay? Well, cookies are really good. I don't know. That is true. But that's how, but like we said before, it can be a fact for some people, but a, an opinion for others. So that's why it's not easy. All right. So <clears throat> a closer look. Facts are information that is true, statements that can be proven, can't be argued with, actual things that exist, tested, observable, measurable, nonfiction. Opinions are what someone thinks or feels. So when you are reading something and the author has written, I think or I feel, you know that, that those are clues that that is their opinion. If it's their personal belief or judgment, it cannot be proven. You, they can't back it up. There's no research, no statistics. Uh, statements that can be argued, you're able to disagree or agree on something and can change over time. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. We have this nice picture here of, can any, so, for the first fact, I put, it's a dog pushing a cart with kittens in it. And for my opinion, I said, I believe that this picture was taken in 1935. Can anyone else give me either a fact or an opinion about this picture? Uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the, the dog is wearing a dress? The dog like is that. wearing a dress. The dog has a hat on? Um, hello? Yes? Oh, my microphone unplugged. Sorry, that's why I was talking. In. Um, I have an opinion. Yes, what would that opinion be? I believe that that dog is five years old in dog years. Ah, I believe that the, whoops, the dog is five years old in dog years. I have one more. Okay. I, <laughs> I think that that dog is, um, a German Shepherd, um, and, um, give me a second. And Pitbull Mix, yeah, I love the name. I think that the dog is a German Shepherd and Pitbull Mix. Can anyone else give me a, uh, a fact? Um, there's three cats in the stroller. Okay, so this is something that's very important. So the facts are all things that we can actually see happening in the picture. And the opinions are things that we're using our background knowledge of what we see in the picture to form our opinions on. Okay, good job. Thank you very much. All right, so keywords that let us know if something uh, is a, a fact versus an opinion, if something that has numbers in it, it's an eyewitness account, someone was actually there and saw it happening. Uh, there are dates that uh, are used to verify it, as in the Declaration of Independence was adopted in Philadelphia on July 4th, 1776. It has specific information. Biographies use specific information that you can research to back it up. Data and statistics. For example, the iReady data that we are gathering between last week and this week, your teachers will use to <clears throat> inform their instruction for how uh, they're going to teach you moving forward. Uh, proof and verify. When police are looking at evidence, they have to be able to find proof that someone committed a crime. Photographs and, and uh, camcorders, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, records and research, okay? Keywords that something is someone's opinion. If someone says, they believe, I think, never, none, 
I feel if they use things called, <clears throat> excuse me, um, superlatives. This is the greatest. This is the best. I guess, maybe, should, always, worst, awful, and bad. All right, I'm going to put you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, in breakout groups. And in your breakout group, you are going to analyze the picture. And using your background knowledge, you're going to give me just two. You're going to have a choice. You can pick two facts and two opinions in your group. <clears throat> excuse me. So it's going to tell me either something that's specific about it, an eyewitness account. Remember, somebody would have to actually be there. <clears throat> excuse me. Something that's provable. How can you prove it? <clears throat> excuse me. Your opinion. Remember, it's I think or I believe or I feel. Also, underneath the picture, I wrote down all of the keywords <clears throat> excuse me, that you'll be able to use when you're forming your uh, facts or your opinions. Sorry. Excuse me. Can someone please tell me uh, what I just told you, what the directions were for that, for, the, for your breakout we're group? Gonna, so we're going to pick two um, things. Yeah, on the slides, we're going to pick two things, either like two opinions or two facts or like three opinions or one fact. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. and we're going to go on breakout groups. And mm -hmm. Good job, Tiago. Yep, you're going to eat. You're going to pick four total, so it's going to be either two facts or two opinions or three and one. Exactly. Very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, I'm going to have you go to your uh, Google Classroom, open up that slide, and remember your breakout group is the number of the slide that you are working in. And please think like good digital citizens and um Make sure that when you're typing, you're not accidentally deleting something that somebody else wrote. Okay? So I'm going to give you uh, 10 minutes to work in your breakout groups. Wait, miss. Yes? Do we share it with our group? Uh, the whole group will be working in the same slide. So, yep. But, like, the slide, it's not, it's just, it's never, 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 never. I'm sorry, Jaden. Oh, she asked, um, if the, she don't know where the slides are. No, wait, I got it now. Okay, because last time you did it, it was, like, I know. the whole class. I know. Slide. Natalia, last time I made a mistake, but I fixed that so that, uh, to me, you all are working in the same slide. Okay, I didn't see that. That's okay. I'm glad you asked because, like I said, last time I made a mistake. We all know people make mistakes. All right? So, let me just check and make sure there are... Like, I made a mistake Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go there, Mr. Cadero. Come on now. Okay, so you have 10 minutes, so we're going to come back at 9.24. Okay? Ava, Davian, Joseph, Naima, Taima. Daylin, Naima, and Joseph, you guys need to go to your breakout groups. Hello, do you have any questions? No. Great. Thank you very much, Natalia. So, how do you like that picture? A better picture than last time? Oh, yeah. 
All right. I was just checking in with you guys. Want to make sure that everything is copacetic. Uh, Naima, I'm sorry. Um, I, I just hit the, um, I just hit the, do you want me to get you out of this group and put you into another one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm not going to lie, I did that to Wait, Joseph called me and Discord again went back to shop. Alright, what group is this? Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Now you may do you go to your other group. Alright. Alright, boys, you're good, right? You're going to... Yeah. You're going to help me out when we come back, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So you're group two. All right. Jaden. B. All right, guys. Thank you very much. All right. Miss? Yes. We're working on the first one, right? Because our breakout yep. room is breakout room right. one. So you're slide one. Okay, because okay, there's a bunch of people in it that aren't supposed to be, so I don't think they're doing their work. Okay. But Thank you for I'm letting me know, to... and I will go and uh, tell them to get out of your slide. Okay. All right. Hi. Okay, you guys all know that you are should be working in slide number three, correct? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Jaden. All right, who's going to report out when uh, we come back? Okay. Thank you so much, Jaden. I appreciate it. We're going to do something fun tomorrow, whatever you guys want, okay? Mm. All right. Hi. Okay, so you guys know that you're group four, so you should be in slide number four. All right, so who's going to report out when we come back? Not me. Oh, Owen, thank you so much for volunteering. I appreciate that. What? <laughs> thank you so much, Owen. What? Uh, Owen? Yeah. Um, you will be one of the de deciding factors on what we do tomorrow. We're going to do something fun, okay? Is that fair? Yeah. All right. I'll see you later. Hello. Hello. All right. So you you all know you should be working in slide number. What group is this? Slide number five. Yeah. All right. Who's going to report out when we come back? I'll do it. Thank you so much, Justin. I really appreciate that. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Okay. Well, thank you. I'll see you in four minutes. Okay. Bye. Bye.
Hello. Hi, Mr. Cadero. Okay. Hello. You guys are breakout room six, or you're working in slide six, correct? Okay, Dalen. Thanks for letting me know. I'll see you guys at 924. Hello. Hi. All right, you guys are. You guys are group seven. You're all working in slide seven, right? Guys, you're working in slide seven, right? Okay. All right. So, uh, could one of you report out when we come back? Please and thank you. When we come, when we come back from the breakout room, uh, I'd like somebody to volunteer and let me know what you put for one fact and one opinion. And thank you, Ayana, for uh, telling me it would be you. Okay? All right. So we have a whopping two minutes. And I will see you up. I'll see you in a moment. Hi, Owen. So the stuff we put there isn't there anymore. What? What do you mean? I think our slide was like deleted or something. Your slide was deleted? I think so. Because like, we were slide four and there's nothing on it now. Nothing at all? No. Well, the things are there, but all the stuff we wrote is not. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> okay. So... Can you just write down one quick fact and one quick opinion? In slide four. Yeah, in slide four. I don't know why somebody else would be doing something in your slide. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, Owen.
Okay, looks like we have everybody back. All right, so, excuse <clears throat> me, group one, Natalia, excuse <clears throat> me, can you give me one fact and one opinion um, from your from your group? One fact from our group is that the buildings in the picture are big. Okay, good. And an opinion is that um, we think that it was in fall because there's not many leaves, like some trees don't have leaves on them.